Reasons your gums could be receding like this. Number one is aggressive brushing. This is the most common problem and it's the easiest to fix. If you brush your gums too much, too frequently, or too hard, you could get recession on your gums. So if you're not using a soft-headed toothbrush, you need to take your toothbrush, throw it away, go to the grocery store right now and get a soft-headed toothbrush because if you brush your teeth too aggressively or too hard, you're gonna get gum recession over time. So the best way to avoid this is to take a soft-headed toothbrush and just go lightly. And when you're brushing your teeth, the amount of force that you need to use on your teeth is the two finger trick. The two finger trick is where you take your toothbrush, you put two fingers on it like this, and that's the amount of force that you need to brush your teeth. It's not very much. Most people brush their teeth like this, and go like that, and they think, if I can brush my teeth very, very hard for 10 seconds, that's better than two minutes of lightly brushing, which is incorrect. Two minutes of brushing very lightly is way better for your gums than brushing aggressively for 10 seconds. Another reason your gums could be receding is because your bite is out of whack. If your bite is uneven, left side versus right side, front teeth versus back teeth, you could have recession from what we call malocclusion, meaning your bite is out of whack and your bite isn't correct, it's not even. So if you're biting on one tooth when you close down and then the other teeth, like it kind of clicks in, you are definitely gonna have recession on that one tooth. And this is a good example of it. This picture shows one tooth recession, which is one of the reasons why you could have recession on one tooth. But if your bite is out of whack, you can also have recession not only on one tooth, but you could have recession on all your teeth. Usually on the back teeth, when you have recession, it's because you're grinding your teeth at night, which is another reason why you could have receding gums. Grinding your teeth at night is evil because you don't know that you're grinding your teeth at night and you wake up in the morning, you go to your dentist and you have your receding gums and we ask you, hey, are you grinding on your teeth? And you have no idea because you're sleeping. How do you know that you're grinding your teeth when you're sleeping? Your dentist is usually the first person to point it out and to fix this, we put you into a soft night guard or a hard night guard. The soft and the hard night guard are the best ways to prevent nighttime grinding, which also helps prevent recession of your gums. Now, if you have gums that are receding in just one area like this picture, another reason for that is that you have what's called a frenulum. A frenulum is basically like a fibrous part of the tissue on your gums that you have no control of, you're born with it, and it's basically like somebody taking a rope and just constantly pulling down on your gums all the time. When you chew, when you speak, when your gums move, you're, you're constantly pulling those gums down, and what we can do is, is a procedure called a frenulectomy. A frenulectomy is where we remove that fibrous tissue, but when we remove that, then your gums stop pulling down, and there's ways that we can regrow those gums or put those gums back, and I won't go into that in this video, but that is another way that we can prevent gums from from receding, and if you already have gum recession, how to prevent it from receding further. Another reason your gums could be receding is just because of age. If you are a certain age, your gums could just be receding naturally. And a dentist usually can tell whether your recession is natural or unnatural. If you're 25 years old and your gums look like this, there is something else going on and your dentist should be able to recognize what is going on, how to fix it. And after watching this video, you should be able to learn why you're getting recession. Another reason you could have gum recession like this is because you have poor oral hygiene. Now poor oral hygiene means that you're not brushing and flossing correctly. It simply means that you're getting plaque collected on your teeth. Now this plaque can cause recession, but sometimes what happens in the worst case scenarios is that the plaque hardens and turns into calculus. Now the calculus gets on your teeth and gets below your gums, and that's where the gum recession really takes into full force because those gums will move away from that. The, another word for calculus is tartar. It's hard calcified plaque. So if you're not brushing and flossing your teeth, not going to the dentist every six months, here's a good photo of it and here's what it looks like. Your gums will move away from this calculus or this tartar. Basically when you have this, your bone will move away from it and as your bone moves away, your gums will move away. And as your gums go down, they recede and then you get these lines. And honestly, you have much bigger problems down the road because as your bone goes away, your teeth get wobbly and you can have many, many more problems. But to most patients, what they care about most is the ugly gum recession. So brushing and flossing your teeth, going to the dentist every six months is the best way to prevent this from happening. And one of the most common ways for gum recession to happen. That's all I have for this video. I hope you guys like this. If you have more things that you wanna add, please tell me below. If I miss something, please comment below. If I, any of these resonates with you and you've had a gum recession from these and you wanna share your experience, I, other people would love to learn. I'd love to learn from you because I currently practice dentistry, which means that I am constantly learning about dentistry. How can better care for patients and better teach other people about their gums, just like in this video. Hope you guys like this. Hit this button to subscribe. Hit this button to comment. And if you like videos like this, maybe you can watch this one, which talks about another topic that I am very passionate about. And maybe you could just learn more information.